What's up guys, it's October 25th, 2023. Do a breakdown of the E-mini. Bears, Bears were in control today. They had a gap down with a sell in the morning, a pull back into the EMA and sold off pretty much for the rest of the day. Uh, the last two hours of the day were, were range bound, honestly. So about the better part of the day was selling in the last two hours were range bound. Not too bad. So yesterday and the previous day, we've been in this range for about two day, uh, about three days. We've been in this range, three day range, and today we broke out. It's a pretty strong breakout. We can see the gap down is breaking several bars to the left here. <coughs> Excuse me. Just make it lighter. So yeah, the gap down is taking out a lot of bars, and it's getting pretty good follow through just with bar one. You see, it looks less like. So over 20, about 20 bars. The follow through is great. A huge bar, barely any wicks. Get a little more zoomed in. And it's very close to yesterday's low of the day. Bar two breaks through the low, but I think people say profits just in case we are range bound. They didn't want to hold their positions. However, bar three sells and is a strong, is a strong breakout. The only wick we see is on bar two, and I think that's just profit taking from the gap down and people waiting for a little more clarification and they get down bar three. Bar four is a follow through to bar three. This is good, strong four bear bars. I think this is the dominant feature for the day. They're breaking out below both EMAs. Fifth bar of the day is a doji and a small pullback. This is the four, uh, first pullback in a strong channel that we could say the channel starts here and then it breaks and pulls back or we could kind of probably have to wait for a little bit more market structure but if this is what we're looking at this is what we have right now pretty strong channel and it gets a little bit of follow through I believe so bear flag number one is coming up okay right it does pull back first so we get strong follow through the first about hour of the day and then we make a small base. This is right below yesterday's low and it's common for if the market's gonna reverse, it would reverse at the extreme. So how it reversed at the extreme yes, uh, two days ago and then how it reverses at the extreme at the high. It's by low so high. So bulls definitely wanna push the market back into this range and have a rally and make a new high. After this strong gap down and follow through selling, I think the best the bulls are gonna do is a is a broad bull channel maybe. There's a lot of selling, there's gonna be a lot of orders. Bulls also get two legs into the EMA, one, two. This EMA was lines up with yesterday's low of the day, and once we break resist once we break support, it becomes resistance. So there's a lot of resistance here on these on these candles following uh, these bull candles. This was a nice pattern. Um, gap down, we find a minor, we find a reversal, and then we have three pushes up. This creates a wedge top at resistance. With the right context, this is a short entry, and today I think was a good co good context to take this wedge top short here, or a few bars that will be printed in a moment. Bears wanna do their best to keep the gap open. We are gapping down. This could be seen as a gap right here because this bar got straight continuation. It's pretty much part of the gap down. And yeah, let's get three pushes up. One, two, three, creating a wedge top. Bears want to short the breakdown level and the EMA. How many? So that's pretty strong. The gap down plus the low is about 50 points. They start to get rejections at the EMA in the low of the day. You start to see a follow through to, for the, not follow through, excuse me, bad follow through for the bulls. This bar right here, I think tells you like bears are still in control. If you're not out of your longs here with these wicks, definitely start thinking about getting out after you see this bar because this bar just gives too much context to the wedge top, failed third push up, hard rejection at resistance after shock cell so I think this was 
This was a pretty good trade. I got short here, I believe. And pretty much, I wrote it all the way down almost. I missed the last leg and I ended up scalping out like four points on my last leg. This was a good day. You see this tight, this is a tight bear channel. I remember thinking I was like, the old me back in the day, I would hit out as soon as I see this bar. I'm like, oh no, this is a double bottom. But look, look at this steady selling. 840. For about 40 minutes, or you can even say here, but then there's a bull bar. 40 minutes to an hour is just a tight bear channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's wicks here and wicks here and wicks here, but at the end of the day, this is a tight bear channel after a gap down. This is strong context, I think. And I held, I held my position through this. Even if we bounced up, I think we would at least return to the low before a double bottom. So I either... In my mind when I see this, it's either I'm setting my limits here or I'm holding for the breakout. And I was holding for the breakdown because that is not a new low. <laughs> I had my lines like this and thought that was the this was good follow through. So I'll put that. I'm gonna delete this spare channel. And we can see this this turned into a bear flag. The pullback turned into a bear flag and it sold. This was another good trade. Uh, pull back into the low of the day. You could say leg one, leg two, or leg one, leg two, if you missed this part of the day, which I missed. The, I'm trying to set out the openings a little bit more. So you could do that. That does get met. You could do it like, you could do it like this. You could do a, you could do a, measured move of this range from here to here I kind of like doing like if there's bulls if there's a bull bar I mean it really you, you should project all three just think we really don't know what gets respected I know because we already traded the day that this this is gonna get respected uh, 200 could, is a nice round number that was pointed out to me by Brad in the Brooks price action blog he updates it every morning Check it out if you like trading price action. Brad is been studying under Al Brooks for quite some, I think over 10 years. So again, I'm gonna delete these. I'll just leave a line here so we can see the price action a little bit better. A breakout of this range equals 4,200. That was Brad's, uh, that's what Brad mentioned in the PT, I mean in the blog, that 4200 could be a strong magnet. And that helped me hold through this because this is the final flag. Um, I was counting one, two, three, and this flag to fail, so I started taking profits on a bull bar that gets printed like that soon. Lots of flags, it's a, it's a bear day. You can scalp the two legs to the EMA if you're bold. A stop order's not bad, I don't think this is a bad stop order buy because we're at the low of the day leg one leg two or you can say leg one leg two leg three fails lots of ways to count it just it what matters is that we can count and help us frame the markets that was the bull bar i got out on yeah i figured that was a pretty good reversal we're five points away from 4200 even if the market came down like this I overstayed. I think I was. I think I did pretty good. I went short on one of these candles. It might have been this candle or this candle, and I just pretty much held until I got out here, and then I got short again here, and I got out here. I was like, "Yeah, I'm done. I'm playing too. I'm going too hard." This is a really good day. I mean, let's see. Let's see which measure move worked. So the breakout of this range worked well. I'm gonna delete all these lines so we can just see measured moves real quick. This is a leg one, leg two tool. That's the low, that's the high. I can't remember if a new low is made after this. I think they do make another low or they come to it and make a double bottom. It's one of the two. Okay, yeah, so this was the double bottom. Pretty much market is range bound. At last leg in a trend is the first leg in a range. Leg one, leg two of the gap down didn't work. 
we know this is going to work here. This gap down is going to work. You can do it from the start of this bar. I just pointed to my screen. I forget. You guys can't see what I'm pointing at. I was looking at these bars as a rejection of yesterday's low and the EMA. And that is met with a little bit of trickle. I'm trying to see if there's a, what is the best PT? So this, how about this leg? From this high to that low, not met. Actually, that's not a bad, that's not a bad one. I actually, I would be kind of ha like from the high of this pullback. That's pretty close. The high of this leg. So the so you guys saw how I pulled it. This high, this range high, to the range low, to this range high because that's a range sideways market. Got very close, very very close to the actual last bar. So this would be if I, when I do my breakdown later. So this is gonna be my leg one, leg two. And obviously, this also gets tagged here. But I'm just looking for like, actually, no, 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 because this would be here or here. Yeah, so you just play around with it and whatever works, just try and figure out how many PTs you can get closest to where you think it'll be ending, where you think it could end. Right now, the market's range bound. We've had a strong gap down, pullback, and a sell for more than half the day, 10 a.m. So yeah, it's pretty good. The market just ranges from here. I was done trading after this bar was like up overstayed after that scalp down. It was a good day for the bears. I hope you guys are were catching some of these trades, some of these bear flags. Here you can buy low so high that just just speak just understand the market cycle, right? We expand and then we contract. So if you understand that, there's nothing wrong with buying low selling high. Although if I was to trade this, I would straight up I would probably short hearing it trapped, short hearing it trapped. So that's why I'm just watching the markets when we go into limit orders and just start to prepare myself because one day I will be scalping these, hopefully by the end of next year. Buy order, scalp five points, sell order, scalp five points, buy order, scalp five points. That's 20 points to do it again, scalp five points. Really good day for the bears. What was the overall points made? So with the gap down, they made 70 points. Without the gap down, they made 50. And wait, wasn't this first leg 50? Wait a minute, okay, hold on. Let me see one thing. Leg one, leg two. I don't understand that. This is 50 points. And this is 50 points. Oh, no, 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 it's five points off. So, okay, if 4,200 was the magnet, it would have been 50-50, pretty much a measured move from the gap down to the pullback, but bulls uh, kept the mark above 4,200. I'm just looking left to see what's what was in the last 42. Wow, we haven't been, where the, oh, we'll look at the daily chart when the last time we hit 4,200 was. But yeah, so we broke out, bears broke out, they're selling right now. Pretty good day for the bears. The overall market, this is the daily chart. I changed the daily chart up a little bit. It was looking a little funny with all these dates. So to keep it simple, July 27th high, 2023. October 10th low, 2022. So this is quite a big range, 50% level. And these red lines, I'm gonna treat them like yesterday's high and yesterday's low, but for last week. So this is last week's high, this is last week's low, this is last week's midpoint. And just to just to verify so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then next week, you know, I'm gonna just drag this line down here and just continue to play last week's highs and lows as I would every day. And I think somehow that's gonna create continuity. That's gonna create something if I'm looking at this week and this week, like the high and low and on the daily. When I trade, I'm always looking at the highs and lows, if you get what I mean. There's some Something's going on there. I'll figure it out in a couple weeks. It'll it'll hit me. So yeah, bears get the double top last week and sell. This is the this is this these are this week is these three bars down here. And I guess we could also put this week's high would not be a bad idea. That's a strong magnet.
I'm just gonna make it purple. This, this week's high. And we and this week, yeah, we broke out. We are breaking out of the range. We could go for a leg one. This is interesting. So depending on what the market sees, we get a leg one, leg two will take us to about the October or the 50%, just around the 50% of the overall range, which is this balance zone. I've been talking about this zone for a while. And when I talk about this zone, I don't mean like we're going to, I just think like, I think we are already tapping it. Yeah, so we're already within the zone. Or in ranges, most breakouts fail and we get some sort of reversal tomorrow, which anything can happen. I really did not think we were gonna sell today, but we sold. And let's see, let's analyze today's bar. Today's bar did break Monday's, this is Monday's low. So we're at fresh, temporarily fresh lows. We've obviously traded here last earlier this year. We are at fresh lows. It looks like the, today the market is already gapping down the overnight session. No, 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 it's not a gap down. It's just like a little continuation. I mean, if you don't count the wicks, then there is a little gap right here. You guys get what I mean. There's bearish pressure picking up on the daily chart. And the hourly chart also shows us that. Here is that wedge top bear flag. It looks really nice, honestly. Here we're trading in the upper half of the range and we break down with three pushes up one. Excuse me. One, two, three. Wedge top bear flag got continuation. Maybe we retest this low. That was last week's low. And then we sell or maybe we sell or maybe we rip. It's. I think the markets are giving us a lot of opportunities if we're patient. I am finding a little bit more consistency waiting the 30 minutes out, waiting the 45, waiting the hour out. That doesn't mean I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life, but just to get on the consistent path and get my first payout. Uh, if you guys are struggling to make money and getting chopped up in the mornings, it's helping me to sit out a couple, uh, like 30, 40 minutes. So I hope everyone uh, is getting profitable. Jared, good job on making all that money. I read your comments all the time. I appreciate you dropping comments. Trader Chick, thank you for all the comments. There's a couple of you that are regularly commenting on these videos and I really appreciate it. I like talking to you guys. Jared, keep up the good work, bro. If you ever want to talk about like your entries and exits, no pressure. I'm down to like look at them with you over the weekend live or not live or you guys keep it up. Everyone's making money now. I'm on the way. Jared's doing it. I don't really know about the others, but I'm sure that they are Albrook students, so they're they're definitely on their way. They're on the right path. I appreciate you guys. Turn on the notifications. I, do, I drop these videos every day at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard. Hit the follow button. Keep studying price action. Use your stop loss. Bye.